The AEW collision ratings are in and it looks like pushing Adam Copeland hard over the past two weeks has paid off as Collision delivered a rating of 458,000 viewers. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. Like I said, the rating is in. It's 458,000. Now people will be saying that's still a poor rating. That is not good. This show is shit. Blah, 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 blah. And look, I agree. That's under half a million for a, a company that is serious about being number one. That is not good. This is the company's second show. It's not like it's a development show like NXT, this is supposed to be the Smackdown of WWE, or the Thunder of WCW. I guess nowadays we can argue that Smackdown is the A show now, so if you want to switch the roles around, maybe Collision is the new Raw, but still, it ain't the new anything with this low of a rating. However, good news for AEW Collision is that it is the highest rating since the 10th of February. So just goes to show that Collision ratings have not been that good. And it is also up 17% on last week. So last week's Collision rating was 393,000. This week's was 458,000. So a bit of a jump on that. And if we're comparing it over the past four weeks, it's up 8%. So the average four weeks for the last uh, collision shows were 425,000. And obviously this one is up 8% on that. So look, it's not a great rating, but it's a rating that has improved. It's a rating that has went up. Plus, it also happened on the Easter weekend. Now, a lot of people were blaming the SmackDown rating for WWE being on Easter because it fell on a holiday. I don't buy that. I think the SmackDown rating was poor simply because there was no main eventers on it. You didn't have your main event angles and stuff like that, and it was full of jobbers. To me, I think that's more why the SmackDown rating was down. If the ratings are down because of the holidays, then I'm sure Saturday would have probably been more affected by Easter than Friday. Because it is the weekend, and uh, people would probably go away for the weekend. So, I mean... It is what it is. I think it's a, an okay rating. I think the fact that Edge was on it, they did push Edge being the TNT champion and he was getting the title defence tonight and a lot of people were interested to see who it would be. And then, of course, Matt Cardona was the one to accept the challenge. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I'm not surprised. I thought when I watched Collision, I thought the first, like, 20 minutes, I think, I think it was solid. You had Edge versus Cardona with the House of Black coming out at the end. I thought it was a decent start to Collision. My only problem would be I thought it went downhill relatively quickly. And, yeah, I mean, pretty much everything after the opener I didn't like. But, you know what? We will break it down. We will look at the quarter by quarter hours later. And, uh, yeah, we'll see where they gained fears and we'll see where they lost fears. I'm going to assume they started off strong with Edge. But I wonder if they were able to keep those fuels and maintain that momentum throughout the show. We'll see you guys in the quarter hour breakdown. Anyway, Bean Fog Wrestling, I'll catch you in the next one. It's 458,000 fuels. It's a step in the right direction. But can AEW Collision keep it up? Can they keep it going? Remains to be seen. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace.